Today we are going to look at the power of the search function. As a digital subscriber, you have access to a huge library of content. So now that I've logged into the website and I'm in the explore page, I can start to filter the content. I can filter by magazine level. I can filter by the type of text. I can filter by issue and also by year. So let's have a look at Blastoff, for example. There's a huge amount of content. So let's filter and have a look at the poetry in Blastoff. There is a lot there. As well as filtering, you can use this magnifying glass over here to refine your search even further. You might want to do a unit of work on Australian animals or the Anzacs, or you might be doing something on science fiction. This will bring up all of the pieces across all four levels that have been tagged with the word science fiction. This coloured line under here, the key line, indicates what magazines it's from. So you can see that it crosses all four levels. You might want to filter that and just look at what's in touchdown. You might like to do an author study or an illustrator study. For the time being, let's have a look at Jeffrey McSkimming to see what he's written. This is all of the content that he's written. Again, you can refine this if you wanted to just see what he's written for Countdown. So the things to remember about the search function is that you can search by magazine level, the type of text, the issue, and you can perform a more refined search by using the magnifying glass.